Today we're fixing a chicken quesadilla and you have never seen a chicken quesadilla quite like this. Hi, I'm Melissa Diane and you are just going to love this recipe. The neatest thing about this, I'll just tell you from the very beginning, is that you're not going to be using any kind of flour or corn tortillas. So normally you'd use like some of these little corn tortillas and that would be the cover, you know, for your quesadilla. Well, for this, you're not going to be using anything like that. So you may be wondering, well, what do you put around this quesadilla? Well, we're going to be using cheese. We're going to use shredded cheese to make the tortilla shell that you're going to cover that quesadilla in. So don't go anywhere. Trust me, this is very easy and you're absolutely going to love it. I'm going to go ahead now and show you the ingredients that we're going to be using today. And as you're seeing all these, you're going to realize that this recipe actually is a keto friendly recipe. So in case you're someone who's interested in keto, then this will definitely fit what you're looking for. And we found this recipe probably about two and a half years ago when Jay and I did keto for about six months. And it is just, like I said, a phenomenal recipe. You're going to want to start with, obviously for your chicken, I'm going to be using some shredded chicken today. You can also use cube chicken if you want. For the cheese, for the outside of that quesadilla, I'm using some shredded cheese. I'm going to use some sharp cheddar cheese. We're going to shred it myself. And then also some shredded mozzarella. I'm going to kind of mix it up together. You want some chopped onions. Um, you're going to have maybe one jalapeno. We're going to chop that up a little bit. I'm going to be using some sliced black olives. For tomatoes, a couple of small tomatoes, we're going to chop those up. Then we're going to have some cilantro for some extra seasoning, just a little bit of some lemon pepper. And then I'm using what's called wild spice. This is W-O-W. -W. This wild spice is something that I make, and I'll put the link for that video in the description. Um, below the video along with all the instructions and the, um, the directions. But this stuff, be sure and check out that video. It is really cool. It's fun to make and it tastes fantastic. Along with your ingredients, you're also going to want to have a couple of pie plates. I have a couple of glass ones here that I'm going to use, and this is to help make your um, quesadilla shell. If you're just going to make one quesadilla, you just need one, but I'm making one for me and Jay, so we're going to use two. You also want to have some parchment paper, and I'll show you in a minute what to do with that. Now I'm going to scoot all these ingredients over here for just a minute so I can show you how you're going to make your quesadilla little shells. So the first thing you want to do is to take some parchment paper and you can just get a roll and get you a piece or um, I didn't realize this until a while back, but when you're buying parchment paper, you can buy some that already have the pre-cut sheets. So if you do that, you'll just need a couple of those pre-cut sheets. Then you're going to want to take your pie plate and just turn it upside down and then take either a pen or a permanent marker, something that will work well on this type of material and just draw around it and then you're going to cut it out. Okay. And since we like to make this a couple of times a month, I kind of keep a pattern. This is one that I did a while back and I just keep it up in my um, cabinet along with these pie plates. So then when it's time to make them like tonight, I just take it and then I take my piece of parchment paper and I fold it in half. And then I just lay this little guy here on top of it like this and I just draw around it and then I cut it out. So tonight we're gonna put my pattern over there, but we're gonna cut out two of these since we're making two quesadillas. So we're gonna do this real quick. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick on how you get this thing to stay still in the bottom of your pie plate. So let me cut this one and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna keep these in the bottom of your pie plate. And so what I like to do, let me flatten these out. I like to take just a little bit of cooking spray and put in the bottom of here. Put in the bottom of both of them. Hang on a sec. Okay, so I got that in the bottom of both of these. And then I wanna take my parchment paper and I'm just gonna put this in the bottom and what that does, it just makes it stick. It's so cool. I just came up with that one day. So I wanted to try to make it stay still and not keep jumping up and down. So you just put that in the bottom and it stays put and you're good to go. 
and you can see that it's going to stick up above the, if you look here, it's going to stick up above the edge of the pie plate and that's fine. Because remember, we're just using this to create a shell um, for your quesadilla. So now we're going to set that aside and we're going to get our cheese ready. Now, if you're going to use cheese that you already have shredded, then all you have to do is open up a, a package of this. You can simply use the sharp um, cheddar cheese if you want. Or, or even mozzarella, you don't have to use one, just one of them, or you can mix them. But today what I'm gonna do is I had a little bit of this shredded mozzarella left, so we're gonna use this, and then I'm gonna run into the pantry, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna shred real fast our sharp cheddar cheese. So what I'm doing here is that I'm going ahead and I am actually shredding my cheese. I just took a, a block here of this sharp cheddar cheese and I'm gonna go ahead and shred it. So let's just get that going really quick. Go ahead and get your oven preheated to 350. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the um, little shell here for the quesadilla. I went ahead and I have ground it up quite a bit, shredded here, um, all of the cheese. And so we're not gonna use all of this. What I don't use, I'm gonna vacuum seal it and then put it in the refrigerator so it stays fresh. And then right here, we've got some of the shredded mozzarella already. So we're just gonna put a little combination of this. I think I'm gonna start with the um, cheddar cheese. I'm just gonna take it Put it all in the bottom, put a good chunk of it all in here, and I'll show you in a second what it looks like. We're going to put this all in here. And a good friend of mine, Joy, she is the one who told me about shredding my own cheese. You may already do that, but I had never done that. I just always bought this cheese that was already shredded, but she was telling me that in most of my recipes that if I'll do that, it's going to taste so much better, it's going to be fresher. It doesn't have all the um, preservatives in it that you need to keep all the shredded pieces from sticking together when you, um, when you purchase it like that. So let me put this in. Let me spread it around. I'm going to put a little more mozzarella in here. Okay. And since the camera is over there, I'm just going to take this and just kind of hold it up so you can see that I've just put this all along the bottom. You don't put it up the sides. You're just wanting to make a flat sheet here of cheese. And then we're gonna put this in the oven as soon as it's ready. And when it goes in the oven, it's in there probably about 10 minutes. And um, we'll check on it. Let's go ahead and get another one of these going. Because to give you an idea of what's going to happen, it's going to go in there. All of this cheese is going to melt together, okay? And then we'll take it out while it's all nice and soft. We'll let it cool for a few minutes. And then we only are going to put all of the other ingredients on just half, on just half of this quesadilla. And then we'll plop the other half over and make the little shell on top. And then we'll put it back in the oven for a few minutes. And I can't wait for you to try this and then to leave me some comments on what you think because this is such an easy, fun recipe. All right, so here we go. That's a little piece right there. I've got the second one ready to go. You can see, and when you put this in, it's not going to be very thick, all right? You don't need to have it super thick um, because when it melts, it's going to all kind of ooze out um, together. And it's going to make a nice cheese covering for our quesadilla. So, okay, we're ready to go. Here we have our little pie plates with our cheese in them. And they're all ready to go into the oven. And so we're just going to slide these on in there. And we're going to check on these in about 10 minutes. I have the oven set on 350. So there we go. They're all slid in. Let's give them about 10 minutes. Be right back. Let's take a peek now and see how we're doing. And I think we're good. We just like it to be melted. We don't want it browned or anything. So we're going to go ahead and pull them out. Here's another look for you before we take them completely out of the oven. So you can see how you want them to look. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you're going to put this together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you've got your shell here and it's your cheese. It's cooled down a little bit and you're going to take just half of this shell and you're going to put your ingredients just on one half. And so the first thing you're going to start with is your shredded chicken. So you can use shredded chicken or you can use cube chicken either way. Today I'm using shredded chicken and this chicken, I actually made this about probably about three months ago. I put this in um, the slow cooker and shredded it and then I vacuum sealed it and then brought it out today. So you're just going to take that shredded chicken, put it on one half of the quesadilla. Then you're going to take your onions and on top of that, put your onions, your chopped onions on half. On top of the onions, put your chopped tomatoes and then your um, chopped up cilantro. Don't use all your cilantro because you want to use, use some of those when you decorate your um, quesadillas when you're all finished. Now the next thing after that is take just a little bit of those chopped up jalapenos, put those all on the top, and then for your seasonings, take a little bit of your lemon pepper, just put that all over. And then this wild spice right here, it's W-O-W, -W, wild spice. I'll put a link for how to make that. I have a video on that um, for how to make this spice. Put a little bit of that on top. I did that already now on both of these quesadillas. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to flip this, or not actually flip it. We're just going to take the one side and you're going to fold it over like that, okay? kind of pat it down and then we're going to fold this back and so what you're left with now is a quesadilla look at that it looks so cool so we did that on one now we're going to do that on the other one so hold on the really the key to this y'all the key is you have to let this cheese cool really really well if you try to do this too soon it's going to be a mess let it cool really well. Now we've got two quesadillas. We're gonna go pop these back in the oven. Here we go, we have these in the oven and we're gonna put them on. We're gonna leave them at 350 and we're gonna do this about seven minutes and then we're gonna check them. So our quesadillas are out of the oven and we're gonna let them sit here for a few minutes before we put them on our plates. And if this is being helpful and you've enjoyed this, please click that little like button. That way that I know that you like what we're filming for you. It looks wonderful and it smells great. Be sure and check out that next video that's popping up. I will see you over there in a few minutes. Bye-bye.